Well, ice fishing is a longtime northern Minnesota favorite, and for this week's Northwoods Adventure, Betsy Moline takes us out to a frozen lake to learn about this season on the ice. For Bemidji local Dick Beardsley, fishing has always been an important part of his life. So I was 12 years old, and I'm almost 65, so a, a long, long time, but I, I love it. I, I have a passion for fishing, whether it be open water fishing or ice fishing, and I just live, love being on the water or, or this time of the year, obviously, on the ice. Dick Beardsley has been a Minnesota fishing guide for over 50 years. He says in that time, the largest changes have been to the technology. When I was a kid, it was sitting on a five-gallon bucket freezing your hinder off. Now, like, I've got this little portable here. It's thermal insulated. I've got a, one little heater, and it gets so warm in here, i got to take my jacket off. All the leaps forward in technology have made ice fishing much more accessible in recent years, but Dick predicts this year will be more popular than ever. Um, I think people are looking for things to do, and uh, being outside in the great outdoors, that's as good of a place as you can be to try to not get the COVID-19. You don't need much to get started. Bucket, a, a, an ice stick with a few jigs, some axe worms, maybe some minnows, and you're in, in a, some type of an auger or a chisel. But, you know, you can, to be a little more successful, you know, having a little hut like this is nice. But even with the new technology, getting started can still be intimidating to those who are new to the water. That's why Dick offers a guide service which helps newcomers know just where to look. You know, I'm out on the lake every single day. And so, you know, you kind of have a barometer of where those fish are. Otherwise, you're kind of shooting from the hip and kind of going into it blind. And plus, you know, if, if they hire me as a guide, I supply all the bait, all the equipment, the electronics, rods, reels. I'll even clean and package your fish. Reporting in Bemidji for this week's Northwoods Adventure, Betsy Moline, Lakeland News. Today, Dick was on the hunt for bluegills and crappies, but he says the shallow parts of Lake Bemidji have been a good place to find walleyes and perch so far this year. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.